What's going on, Kappa 2020? Virtual edition, Coach Drew here. We are all very excited that we can still bring camp to you in some form this year. Camp is going to look a little different, and we are going to try to make this the best virtual camp experience for you. In Kappa 2020 goal ball section of camp, you will find different skill-related videos and different drills to help you improve your goal ball game. In this video, I'm going to talk about the rules of goal ball and how the game is played. So sit back and we hope that you find these videos helpful. Even And even though we are not together in person, Kappa still runs this town. So, how the game is played. Each team consists of three players on each side, and the objective is to roll or throw a goal ball into the goal past the opposing team. The goal ball is a basketball-sized ball that has bells in it, and the players can listen to the ball as it travels. All players on the court wear blacked-out eye shades. No matter what your vision, everyone is on the same playing field. The court itself is made of taped down rope lines so that players can orient themselves by using their hands and feet to feel for the lines. During the game, it is important that people in the stands remain quiet while the ball is in play as the players use their listening skills to track the ball. Players on the court may communicate with one another, but not while a ball is being thrown by their team. Even the coach on the sideline must remain quiet while the ball is in play. Did you know that goal ball is the only Paralympic sport that is not adapted from another sport? This sport is specially designed for athletes who are blind or have a visual impairment. In some later videos, we will learn the skills that we use when playing goal ball, but for now, we're going to talk a little bit about the rules of the sport. In total, the sport of goal ball has eight different personal penalties and five different team penalties that a, that a team can commit. I will explain the difference between the two types of penalties a little later. The two rules that I find the hardest to follow at the youth level are the 10 second penalty and the eye shade penalty. In some sports, there is what is known as a shot clock or play clock. Goal ball has the same concept. Once the opposing team throws a ball and it is blocked by you or someone on your team, your team has 10 seconds to throw the ball back to the other team. This rule helps keep the flow of the game. If a team fails to beat the 10 second shot clock, they will receive what's known as a team penalty. Which was which will result in a penalty shot situation. A penalty shot is when a team who has committed the penalty has one player on the court to defend the whole court. When a team penalty happens, the team that did not commit the penalty gets to choose a player from the team that committed the foul to defend the goal. That's a lot of court to cover for one player. The second rule that is hard for youth aged goalball players to follow is the eye shade rule. At the beginning of the game, the officials come around to both teams and check to make sure their eye shades are completely blacked out with no light coming through whatsoever. Once the official has finished the eye shade check, the players will put on their eye shades and the officials will once again check to see if the eye shades are on their faces properly. The player is then not allowed to touch their eye shades once the inspection is complete. If a player touches his or her eye shades during the game, that player will get what's known as a personal penalty. Now, when a player commits a personal penalty, they are the ones that must defend the penalty shot. That is different from the team penalty. The main reason why this rule is hard to follow at the youth level is because the youth athletes are not used to feeling and wearing of the padded eye shades, and their first instinct is to move them if they are uncomfortable. If 
For some reason, if any player needs to adjust their eye shades, they must simply raise a hand and wait for the official to acknowledge, acknowledge them. We hope that this video was helpful and that the videos that you are going to watch are helpful and that you can use this information to help make you become a better overall athlete. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to ask any of the coaches. We are always looking for ways to help you as an athlete become successful. Thank you for watching and enjoy Virtual Kappa 2020, y'all.